monthly favourites. Is this real life? Yes it is. We are about to be in April. Is today the last day? How many days have September, April, June and November? All the rest are 31. What day are we? Nope, we're the 30th. Tomorrow is the last day of March. So we're already going to be in April in a minute, basically, and this is so fast but it's also excellent news because the weather's getting warmer, it's getting brighter, happier, all that kind of thing. I am an autumn, like, lover, but I also really love spring because it's getting, it's just, I just feel more happy and positive and when you wake up and it's light, it's, it's so lovely and it's nice when there's a blue sky, especially like to up your Instagram game if there's blue sky, it just makes everything better and it's just, oh, you don't have to wear too many layers, but, but I'm the type of person that gets really hot or I don't like having, having my guns out, so I kind of have a love-hate with summer, but I do quite enjoy spring. So I'm gonna get cracking and show you what I've been loving this month in the month of March. First off, this is just the cutest thing in the world. So as you know, love, my love for Tangle Teaser is very high. Um, I think I mention them always. I've got a lot of hair, they're just excellent for me. Um, so they kindly sent me this one, which I don't actually have. I have the majority of the different kinds, but they have a flower one. And I was like, oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, what's that? <gasps> oh no, every time I, I like gasp, Rupert's like, what's wrong, mama? Um, wait a moment, who's that then? Hey, <laughs> I've put a picture of him in my Tangle teaser. And it just sits, it's just a flower that sits in a little pot. And I think this is for like young girls, but I don't mind. Um, I just thought that was the loveliest thing. And now I have like a personalized Tangle Teaser for Rupert. So, well, obviously it's not for him. That would be great though. I'd really enjoy a Tangle Teaser for my dog. <laughs> I've been popping into the body shop a lot more lately as I live quite near to one. And I've been experimenting with their makeup and things. But one of the things that I love, I haven't loved long enough to be in here. Um, it's the lip and cheek stick that I featured in my spring makeup look using five products. It was my five product face. And I saw this and I got the smaller size of it, which is five pounds. And the woman behind the till was like, today they're this large size of 50% off. And I was like, yeah, they are. So I got a full size one and it is the Wild Rose Hand Cream FPS SPF 15 hydrates and helps protect against the appearance of brown spots with rose hip oil and community fair trade Brazil. You don't care about that bit. Um, but yeah, it's all, all things rose and it smells gorgeous and it's just such a soothing thing for during the day and it's an immediate fix rather than it will heal over time. It's, it gives you that, but it, it does both, sorry. And obviously the smell of rose is just my favorite thing. So I've been really loving that and makes my hands smell great. So I, I really recommend this if you get quite sore hands. My hands are a lot better, but they're still quite dry. They're not necessarily sore and stingy. They're just very dehydrated and dry. So this has been really helping that. So next up, I've actually got a lipstick that I'm wearing now, or wait, what are they calling this? This is the Bourjois Color Boost Glossy Finish Lipstick. Waterproof colour, comfort and hydration, 10 hours, SPF 15, bare lip sensation. I'm just reading everything I can. <laughs> and it's in the shade 09 Pinking of It. So a lot of brands do this, but I've never do these kind of like lip crayon-y moisture stick things, but I've never tried one from Bourjois. I love it. I love it. I've got it on as more of a stain right now. Um, I did have it on fully this morning, but obviously I've eaten and drunk things, but it's still left quite a really, like I really like how it looks right now. It's left quite a nice stain, but obviously it will be a bit more intense when you first pop it on. It's so moisturizing, so hydrating, and I love that it's stained. I think I'm like, yes. So I really love that and I really recommend it. It's not like, a lot of these things are quite minty and I don't really like that. And it's so, this one is not like that. And it's just a crayon formulation and it's so, no. Next up, I have a Primark PS Love makeup product. So this is a blusher stick and they don't have names or numbers or anything, but I'm not sure that they do too many of these. So this is just the pale pink one. So they basically look like 
they would be a lipstick but they're cream blush sticks so you just kind of draw them on like whiskers and then blend those in and I just absolutely love this I can't I there's nothing that I would improve it there's nothing that I could say oh I wish it did this it's it's per quite perfect really and it's really long lasting it lasts throughout the whole day because I hate apply, like reapplying and touching up blush during the day especially cream like I sometimes like to use some powder I like to use powder under my eyes and that kind of thing and if this blends with that it just goes all horrible and everything just ugh. so this is just really lovely to have and then you could kind of like loose powder over the top but it's such a lovely colour as well and then once blended in it's just such a beautiful flush I'm not wearing that today I'm wearing a different product that I'll show you in a moment but it's the perfect spring blush and especially it was about £2.50 or something something crazy cheap and it's a beautiful colour I also have it in a kind of corally shade if you're not too into the whole pink thing but I really love this and I'm sure I don't see why you couldn't wear it as a lipstick as well so the blush that I am wearing today is a powder blush and I've fallen back in love with powder blushes I still love cream blushes and I dabble into a bit of both as you probably know but I've been really loving Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in True Love and that is what I'm wearing today so I actually got this around like Valentine's I think I got it in a little care package from them which was absolutely lovely and this month I've just been going to it and being like yes I love this I've been using the same buffing brush that I always use by Real Techniques on my cheeks with blush and I just think it's a stunning colour and I really love it. It's quite a universal colour as well. I feel like whatever your skin tone it would look really nice with. And they also do a matching true love lipstick. So that's really fun too. But I just love, I love Tarte as a brand anyway and you know that. So this is just a lovely blush. I basically got like one of everything <laughs> today. Um, so next up is this highlight. This is the MUA or Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. I've had this over a year now but I kind of go towards cream products a bit more but again because of the powder blush I've been loving this this is such a gorgeous highlighting powder and it's the perfect champagne colour but it's also got a hint of pink so it just dusts really lovely over, lovely over your blush so it can just blend nicely it looks so natural I'm wearing this today and I don't tend to use this down the centre of my nose because it has got a bit of a pink tinge, pink tinge, pink tint to it, but for the cheekbones it's absolutely stunning and for the inner corners of the eyes, again I use this in my five product face so I will leave that down below if you haven't seen that already, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. Again another powder product, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Salil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer, so this actually does smell like chocolate, I've used this before in the past and I recently got it in a Love Me Beauty box, so Love Me Beauty now have Too Faced products in their boutique so that's excellent. It smells like chocolate, you would think that being pale I would have picked the light chocolate but I think that this one is a lot better and again I'm wearing that today and I just applied that with an angled brush and it's just lovely and why wouldn't you want to smell like chocolate? It doesn't make your face smell like chocolate, don't worry. <laughs> Another Body Shop product now, this is the All In One 5 Action Perfector Insta Blur. So this is a primer, I love this. Whatever texture this is, this is the type of primer that I like. It's kind of like gel based, silicone based, that kind of thing. If you've ever tried the um, e.l.f. HD Mineralized primer, you know the one that's in a pump that I absolutely love. E.l.f. is closing down, can you believe this? What is life right now? Um, this is that and so much more. It's so good. It's also quite similar to the Bourjois primer that's in the little pink pot but this is just absolutely lovely and I've been wearing this every day since I've got it. When I first tried it I was like oh my gosh look at my face. I was just so excited. I know Body Shop do a wonder blur but I haven't seen that in store so I'm not really sure if that's a thing anymore or what the difference is but I just really love it and I love the packaging as well. I like things that are simple and minimalistic. This one is probably like the love. This is the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil. So my, the bit that's going to feature my favourites is not, whoa, <laughs> is not this pencil end. This is like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I find like the application of it's difficult. Um, 
like it's too it's too big, like too girthy. Oh girth. <laughs> um, but forget that side. The side that I'm talking about today, the eyebrow creation, is the felt pen side. I've never really tried a felt pen in my eyebrows before. I'm just parting my fringe so you can see them. But this is solely this is solely this brow archery pen, and I just love it. The application is so easy. It's kind of like a watercolor pen. If you ever had those as a child, I still have them now. Um, but the, mine is in the, the shade brownie points, which is fun as it is. But it's just so easy to apply, and it's just like so. In, it makes doing my eyebrows enjoyable because sometimes it's like, oh, I'll probably get them wrong today. Oh, eyebrows not on fleek. But like with this, you can really do the outline really nicely. You can. It's as if you're drawing the hairs on. So it just, it just. Oh, I just can't praise it enough. I really love it. But I just wish it was like all the pen if that makes sense or one side was a spoolie and the other side was a pen that would be ideal so that is everything that i've been mclovin in the month of march let me know what you've been loving this month and any recommendations you have for me give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video i really enjoyed march but i just can't believe it's over it's way gig we're matching today we're matching he was quite cold i gave him his bath this morning and um yeah, you will be chulu. You'll be chulu. So yes, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've had a fab month and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.